holding hands and kissing them in the ear and praying for a good showing. And what do we do? We end up looking like a monkey fucking a football out there. Everybody out, please. Except you two. I've got a question. What is the one thing you absolutely need to do to win a race? That's pretty damn obvious. You keep quiet. You need to finish the race. Tim, I realize Harry's been around a long time. I'm not saying that his ways are antiquated, but it helped to have a car that handled properly and didn't blow engines. Well, if he wouldn't get excited and over-rev the son of a bitch, the engine wouldn't blow. Now, Cole, when you shift the gear and that little needle on the tack goes into the red and reads 9,000 RPM, that's bad. It's also my fault if the tires blow, if you ask this old fart. Well, hell yes, it's your fault. There's 40 other vultures out there who managed to finish the race on their tires. You see Darrell Waltrip using up his tires? It's nothing I can't do with a race car. Well, that's the difference between you and me. There's only so much I can do. That's obvious. Harry, he doesn't need to appreciate your job to do his. Well, he sure as hell does. How can he expect a race if he don't know what a race car can and can't do? What is this shit, huh? You want me to work the pit and you drive? Fine, we'll try that. I can't talk to this son of a bitch. I can't talk to that son of a bitch. I really can't. I can't. I, I... Think he can drive? Oh, he can drive. He can drive beyond the limits of the tires, the engine, the car, anything else. If, if the son of a bitch listened to me, we wouldn't hardly ever lose a race. They don't get us a sponsor in the next couple of races. My ass is fried. I'm liable to be out of the car business altogether. And Harry, I know you're great. You know you're great. But if the guy in the car didn't trust you, we're never going to win a damn race. <laughs>